Welcome guys to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, kindly do so and remember to click the notification button to get more amazing content. And with that, let's go straight to the video. Discovery in Salamanders by James Godwin brings science closer to the development of regenerative medicine therapies. Many salamanders can readily regenerate a lost limb, but adult mammals including humans cannot. Why this is the case is a scientific mystery. A team of scientists led by James Godwin at the MDI Biological Lab in Bar Harbor, Maine has come a step closer to unraveling that mystery with the discovery of differences in molecular signaling that promote regeneration in the axolotl, a highly regenerative salamander, while blocking it in the adult mouse, which is a mammal with limited regenerative ability. Scientists at the MDI Biological Lab have been relying on comparative biology to gain insights into human health since its founding in 1898. The discoveries are proof that the idea of learning from nature is as valid today as it was more than 120 years ago. Instead of regenerating lost or injured body parts, mammals typically form a scar at the site of an injury. Because the scar creates a physical barrier to regeneration, research in regenerative medicine at the MDI Biological Lab has focused on understanding why the axolotl doesn't form a scar or why it doesn't respond to injury in the same way that the mouse and other mammals do. The research shows that humans have untapped potential for regeneration. If we can solve the problem of scar formation, we may be able to unlock our latent regenerative potential. Axolotls don't scar, which is what allows regeneration to take place. But once a scar has formed, it's game over in terms of regeneration. The axolotl, a Mexican salamander that is now all but extinct in the wild, is a favorite model in regenerative medicine research because of its one-of-a-kind status as nature's champion of regeneration. While most salamanders have some regenerative capacity, the axolotl can regenerate generate almost any body part including brain, heart, jaws, limbs, lungs, ovaries, spinal cord, skin, tail and more. Since mammalian embryos and juveniles have the ability to regenerate, it's likely that adult mammals retain the genetic code for regeneration, raising the prospect that pharmaceutical therapies could be developed to encourage humans to regenerate tissues and organs lost to disease or injury instead of forming a scar. In his recent research, Godwin compared immune cells called macrophages in the axolotl to those in the mouse with the goal of identifying the quality in axolotl macrophages that promotes regeneration. The research builds on earlier studies in which Godwin found that macrophages are critical to regeneration when they are depleted the axolotl forms a scar instead of regenerating just like mammals. The recent research found that although macrophage signaling in the axolotl and in the mouse was similar when the organisms were exposed to pathogens such as bacteria, funguses and viruses, when it came to exposure to injury it was a different story. The macrophage signaling in the axolotl promoted the growth of new tissue while that in the mouse promoted scarring. Specifically, the paper reported that the signaling response of a class of proteins called toll-like receptors which allow macrophages to recognize a threat such as an infection or a tissue injury and induce some inflammatory response were unexpectedly divergent in response to injury in the axolotl and the mouse. The discovery of an alternative signaling pathway that is compatible with the regeneration could ultimately lead to regenerative medicine therapies for humans. Though regrowing a human limb may not be realistic in the short term, significant opportunities exist for therapies that improve clinical outcomes in diseases in which scarring plays a major role in the pathology. Thank you once again for watching the video. I hope it was informative. Kindly like, subscribe and click the notification button.